Who's eating good? Of course, served by Applebee's and a little different this week, Matthew, as we jump into some fantasy playoff formats for people who have never played before. How does the format work? Look, there's a lot of different versions of it, obviously, but the, the, the most common one that we've heard is some version of pick a player from every team. Um, and sometimes you can, you know, you can, you, you have to, maybe it's a couple quarterbacks or some flexes, but usually there's positional requirements. Pick, you know, like I'm in one where it's like, Pick two quarterbacks, four running backs, four wide receivers, three flexes, you know, a couple of defenses, um, et cetera. Ultimately, you have to use one player from every team that's in the playoffs, and then there's like two teams that you're allowed to double up on. And so obviously the strategy here is not only maximizing points, but trying to figure out in terms of whether you, where you're doubling up, who's going to extend further into the playoffs, right? And, the you know, the, the um, you know, trying to, you know, you don't want to – trying to use the player's – uh, you know, the, the higher scoring players, the cool quarterbacks back. on the, you know, the, the, uh, the teams that you feel like will go yeah, further in the playoffs. You probably want to, don't want to load up on Pittsburgh Steelers given they right. are 10 point dogs in round one. It's the anti-J right. strategy. Yes. Yeah, yeah, which just kind of kills me. Right. Because right. of my kind of uh, physical compulsion to take Najee Harris in every draft. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Well, let's look at. So the, here are our rankings. Yeah. Let's We've look at the top rankings. fantasy players here. And no surprise at number one, Christian McCaffrey. Then C.D. Lamb and Josh Allen there at two and three, Matthew, feels like not only are they great fantasy players, but they also have some phenomenal matchups in the opening round of the playoffs that probably gives you some longevity hope with those guys. Yeah, for sure. You know, and listen, the Cowboys, you know, likely win this game, go to San Francisco, you know, ultimately one wind up in San Francisco and then they got a shot at the Super Bowl. And my guy Eights, you know, during the regular season, he was the second best wide receiver in fantasy, he led the NFL in receptions, 12 straight games with 16 fantasy points. There's just such a high floor there with CeeDee Lamb. And same with Josh Allen. Again, they're the number two seed. Um, ultimately, they, they won't have to leave Buffalo until the final game, which they would have to go to Baltimore, assuming the Ravens win, win out as well. And so Allen, who was the number one quarterback in fantasy during the regular season, and obviously since Joe Brady took over, they're using his legs so much more. Yep. I will say just as a general rule, uh, two seeds are very in very good place for this just because they're the teams that generally have the best chance of playing four games. Particularly yep. this year when your two seeds are Buffalo and Dallas, who I think are the second best teams in those given conferences. So Dak, CD, Josh Allen, James Cook, very uh, attractive. Yeah. And so, and like, even if they lose in the championship round, they'll play three games. Yeah. And the, you know, the Ravens Niners will play three games, assuming, you know, you think they go there as well. So then you're just like, well, who's going to score more of those three games as well? So I, I agree with you. I think the Cowboys and Bills, and you saw it there reflected in my rankings, uh, we'll put those up on uh, on NBCSports.com, RotorWorld.com, so you can go check those out uh, as well. But, uh, you know, those are, those are teams and players to target. So after McCaffrey, Lamb, and Allen in the top three, it, they are trailed by uh, da they are followed by Dak Prescott, James Cook, Amon Ross, St. Brown, Lamar Jackson, Tony Pollard, Isaiah Pacheco, Stephon Diggs, which takes us to rankings 11 to 20. Let's take a look here at the outside the top 10. And Give some your, people yep. do a playoff pool draft, and you can use this obviously for your playoff pool. But this is based on who I think goes the furthest, and you know, using some Vegas projections as well in terms of what they think is going to happen. Uh, uh, in the playoffs as well. So, right. Uh, we start getting into the running backs there at the top of the second round. Gibbs and Kyron Williams. Kelsey comes in at 13 for me. Brock Purdy at 14. Jake Ferguson. Debo Samuel. At number 17, it's Tyreek Hill. Kittle at 18. Brandon Ayuk at 19. And then finally, at number 20, is A.J. Brown. Again, we're assuming full health there. Or at least that he'll healthy enough to play. All right, let's take a look at 20 through 30 here to round out the rest of our rankings for the fantasy playoff format. In one second, we will take a look, I promise. There we go. Number 21, Rasheed Rice. 22, Nico Collins. 23, Jalen Hurts. 24, Rashad White. Puka Nakua comes in at 25, followed by Devin Singletary at 26. Amari Cooper at 27. Patrick Mahomes at 28. Cooper Cup at 29, and the list is rounded out here, Matthew, by David Montgomery at 30. Yeah, I mean, like, again, some of these running backs, even though you think, you know, Singletary and Montgomery might be one and done, you don't know. There's certainly a chance that the Rams could get there as well. Um, you know, the, the fact is, is that there's just so few running backs. There's so many more wide receivers that if you're doing a draft, you can, you know, sort of uh, uh, load up there uh, as well. So Jalen Hurts is an interesting one because even though 
the Eagles have such a stench on their season now. Like, they're still three-point favorites against a pretty suspect Tampa Bay defense in round one. They win that, then they would go to likely San Francisco, uh, in which case that's a brutal matchup, but one you would expect where Hurts is going to have to be dropping back a ton. But he was as bad of a season as it feels like Jalen Hurts had, at least at close. He's yeah. still the number two quarterback in fantasy. Like, he still produces on that front. So he's a guy who has a ton of upside. Well, and by the way, same with Amari Cooper. It's again, if yeah. you think Cleveland beats Houston, you know, he should have a big game against Houston, and then they would likely go to Baltimore, yeah. um, where they would, again, they'd have to probably throw quite a bit. You know, Amari Cooper just getting just a massive target share from Joe Flacco. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBCSports.com and RotorWorld.com, and I want to thank you so much for watching whatever it is you just watched, or if nothing else, being too lazy to click out of the autoplay after this video started, after whatever it is you actually wanted to watch finished. But now that you're here, I'd like to take a moment here to ask you respectfully, respectfully now, okay, I'm asking you respectfully to subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel. You'll get the latest Roto World fantasy news headlines, all sorts of great shows, including my own Fantasy Football Happy Hour. So go subscribe now. Again, I'm asking respectfully.